I'm doing a review of the Graco Sense to Soothe um, bassinet and it's something that I have been in love with. We've been using it for two weeks and it has fulfilled every single want that I have had. Um, with my last daughter we used the Rock and Play and those have since been recalled so we couldn't use that this time. And I was looking all over the internet and they were either way too expensive or they just had not so great reviews. Um, this one didn't have very many reviews at the time that I was looking. And so I was really just going on a prayer and hoping that it was great. And it was. Um, when it came to putting it together, I was maybe six or seven months pregnant. I was pretty excited to try it out. Um, and I was able to do it by myself. It took me maybe um, an hour, but I mean, if you're not pregnant, it might not take as long. Um, but let's go ahead and I'll show you the different aspects of the bassinet. Um, because I mean, it's just fantastic. This is the bassinet from a distance, and you'll notice that the back legs have wheels. Um, it does make it easier to move around. I don't know how much I would say you could move it from room to room because it does rock, and I have not seen a way to lock it. Um, but it has this canopy, which we use just because our room is has quite a bit of light in it. And then the mattress is firm enough for a baby, obviously, but it's still comfortable. It doesn't feel like cardboard, like uh, other bassinets that I've seen. And then right now I have a mattress... Um, sheet on it because the one that it came with is dirty um, but it's Burt's Bees uh, it fits perfectly and um, when you have the the sheet that it comes with it has velcro on the bottom in order to stick it really well to the bassinet um, and then it has the mesh sides so if baby gets their face stuck in the side they can still breathe um, it also has these pockets at the bottom we haven't really figured out a way to use them yet we tried putting diapers in but uh, you just really couldn't fit very many diapers or wipes in there and then we have the um, control panel and so you have the power button and right now i have it set on stuff okay so um this you don't have to have the light. There's three different settings for the light. These two buttons, um, this is just Graco's choice of how to soothe the baby. And then you can change it to your own. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I haven't changed it yet. Um, but when it hears your baby crying, um, this little face will turn green and then it will start uh, its own soothing process. Um, it does not work for like little whimpers. So I'm a pretty light sleeper. And when my daughter whimpers, I wake up very easily. And so it hasn't really gone uh, to those settings very often, maybe once or twice in the last two weeks. But so for the settings, we have three settings for speed. So the first setting is this, and then if we move it to the second setting, it's a little bit faster, not much. The third setting I feel like is the most difference. Um, I normally set it at the second setting at nighttime. And then we have the vibration. So the vibration is kind of loud. You're, I'm a light sleeper and I'm able to tune it out, but so this is the first setting for vibration. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, then there's a second setting, which is just a little bit harder. Um, 
so uh, we also have some sounds. Um, the speaker quality is not fantastic, but my baby doesn't seem to care and I'm able to tune it out. So this is just music. And then you can change it to white noise. Um, and then you can change it to like nature sounds. Um, this one also has a heartbeat one to it. So a creak. Yeah. Um, eventually you would get to the heartbeat one. So at nighttime, when we use this, we typically have it at the second setting for this, the first setting for vibrate, and then she likes the music. Um, so if you pay attention to the sound, that's kind of what we're hearing at night. It's pretty easy to tune out, um, even with it being right next to my bed. Um, but, uh... Yeah, we love it. Overall, I would really recommend this bassinet to anyone, especially if you have a fussy sleeper. And um, my only downsides for it would be the speaker quality isn't great. Uh, and for me, that's really not a deal breaker. But for some, maybe it is. Um, and then if you really can't handle background noise. Uh, I mean, any rocking bassinet probably won't be for you because it's going to come with some noise that just comes from the fact that it's moving. But this is a very light noise. It's um, nothing that I personally can't tune out and I have a hard time tuning different noises out. To me, it just ends up being white noise in the background. Um, but we love it and we use it to rock her to sleep after feedings at night. Um, we typically keep it still for nap time and when we put her to bed at night. So I'm not too worried about, uh, weaning her off of it when she, once she grows out of it. Um, cause hopefully she won't be waking up for as many feedings in the middle of the night. Um, but... I hope this was helpful.